Hey family, bienvenidos, como estas? How are you? Welcome to the channel. And y'all, I don't have these buckets in my hands because I'm starting my bucket list. I have these because I am decluttering. Yes, I've already gone full mode into decluttering because this is spring cleaning week. I did single eyeshadows with K the organized soprano i will leave her link down below if you have not checked her out she's amazing for especially for small spaces if you have a small space and you want to get organized get your life together and start checking out her channel i'm so serious and she's going to help me with a part two of that declutter with my palettes so you're going to see everything today except single eyeshadows and palettes and that will be separate. I wanted to start off with makeup just because I do have some expired things. I do have some things I want to pop on my Poshmark. I'll leave it down below for you guys to check out. But definitely, you know, I have some new in the box. I have some newly used and I have some gently used products. So you can definitely shop from there at a discount. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let's jump right in. So we are going to start off with primers and let's get them out and we will start. Okay, so I know in this category, I don't have many that I want to declutter, but I do have some. Okay, so I will say that I love hydrating and I like glowing. So starting off, I know this YSL, Touche Clot Blur Primer, I want to keep the Probiotic Water Rehab Cream. I've talked about this being a dupe to the, what is that, Too Faced, the uh, Hangover RX. I'm going to keep that. I actually have this one over here that I'm using, the Urban Decay Self-Adjusting. I really like that one. That one's like a smoothing. This is the Makeup Forever Smoothing and the Tarte. Out of these two... I'm going to put the smoothing into my kit and I'm going to keep the tart for myself. And this one is a smoothing and illuminating, so I'm going to keep this one. This Radiance Primer by Makeup Forever, I feel like it really doesn't do anything. I'm going to declutter it. These glowy products, these are the CoverGirl Vitalist. This one is in, what color is this? This is in Daybreak and this one is in Sunkiss. I'm going to keep both of them them just because i become darker in the summer the mark jacobs definitely in keeping love that one the cover of x i like this one too i'm gonna keep these because these are all ones that i would get through and my tip too love it so these are my concealers let's go through them the nars this is in custard i actually use this when i travel so i'm gonna keep that one this one is the bare skin i have not used it yet so i'm gonna keep it I am, these are my makeup forever. I love these so, so much. But I'm going to only keep the colors that I have. And then I'm going to keep the rest of these in my kit. Okay, so this is a color corrector. Definitely going to keep these two. I have two color correctors currently. And I have this one. So I'm using this one up. Going to keep these two. I love color correctors. I am going to go ahead and declutter. This is the Boo Boo Cover Up. I'm going to... Um, this is expired. I'm going to throw that away. Love the Maybelline Age Rewind. I'm going to put it up here for me to use. Yeah. This is the ColourPop con filter, No Filter Concealer. I am going to... I'm actually keep this for a minute. I'm trying another concealer. It reminds me of this. And I might do a dupes video. So I'm going to keep that. I'll put that over here. This one by... I'm going to declutter it. This is the concealing pen. I'm going to declutter it. I've never used it, but it's a really good. But I think that one of my sisters, I want to give it to one of them. I'm going to give this a second chance. This is the Genius Gel by the Bright Future by Sephora. I want to try this again. This one's on the chopping block, okay? This one's on the chopping block, and so is the ColourPop. Estee Lauder Double Wear. I've tried it and I like it. So I'm a these are some that I need to try. This one is old. This is the makeup uh, the, no, this is the NYX HD concealer. I'm going to declutter that. That's old. My Mac Pro Long, love it. Studio Skin, love it. 
This one is a lot like my shade, but I can mix it. So these are the concealers that I'm going to keep. Yay! Move on to my foundations. Let's see if I can get rid of some, which I think I can. Right now we currently have... Okay, so let's go through these. Jouer, the high coverage essential. I'm going to keep these because I love this foundation. It's high coverage, but I do like the finish on it and I can just sheer it out. But I love mixing these and um, these are still good. So I'm going to hold on to these. So guys, I'm deciding to declutter these. This is too orange. This is too light. And uh, I like their, actually their Illuminizing Skin Tint a lot better. These are way too much high coverage for the amount of foundations that I have. I love these. I just need to get my perfect shade. And right now I'm not ready to do that. So I am going to declutter these and give it a better home before they go bad. I'm going to hold on to my Dior Star. I love this one a lot. I have the Fiona Styles over here, by the way, and I'm using this one currently, and it's about right there, and I really like it so much. I would be so upset if I... I can't. I can't get rid of that. Makeup Forever. I don't like how this looks on me anymore. Okay? And this is why 425. I like the old formula better. So this is not my favorite Makeup Forever foundation anymore. Um, I like, um, I'm going to try a couple of their other ones, but Makeup Forever it used to be my jam. I'm going to declutter the Maybelline Matte and Poreless. Now, I really like this. I have it in 332, um, 332 Golden Caramel, but I've had this for a while, and so I'm going to go ahead and declutter it. I love this Born This Way. This is in Honey. I'm totally keeping this. Also going to keep my Studio Skin 15 Hour. Love that. Going to keep my Estee Lauder Double Wear. I have it in 3W2 Cashew. Love it. Going to keep my Dior. Just did a review on these two, which I'm going to keep. The MAC Face and Body and the Dior Backstage Face and Body. Going to keep these. I'm going to keep the Joe's, I was going to say Jose, the Josie Marin Vibrancy. This is in the shade Fearless. I love that. This is so good. This is the Total Control Drops by NYX and I have the shade Caramel. This is one of my favorites, the Healthy, the Vitalist Healthy Elixir by Maybelline. Maybelline. CoverGirl, Lord, by CoverGirl. Love this. This is not Giorgio Armani. This is the true match in here. And I really like it. But I'm going to put this on chopping block. See if I still like it. But the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk I already went out of. This is the L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable that's in here. So I'm going to try this. And this is going to be on the chopping block. And the Elf. This is in Caramel as well. This is really pretty on me. This is the Flawless. I hate the fact that it doesn't have it on here the flawless uh, foundation and this only lasts six months I really like how this looks on me these two look very much alike I'm gonna declutter this you know what I'm gonna declutter this too I'm gonna declutter these two I know I have people who would love these so I'm gonna declutter these two okay so let's put these back Oh, y'all, that's the reason why I wasn't in there. This is the Veil Skin Super Skin, and this is in 4G Tan. So beautiful, so I'm keeping this as well. So I am keeping two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen foundations. I'm happy about that because I said between ten and twelve foundations, but I have thirteen. We can just put these through. And these are not including my Vanish Stick foundations, which I have two of those in my makeup bag. I, this is just my makeup collection that's over here. I'm using those foundation sticks up, but this is like liquid foundation. Okay, this is my everyday makeup stuff. So this is stuff that I pull from regularly. So we're not going to declutter any of this stuff. Next, let's go through this drawer. This is my random drawer, like tools. That can come out because that's for eye. This is Dora 
door line. So I'm gonna keep this. This is the Inglot 77. I'm trying to figure out if I wanna keep this. I think I am. I have another gel liner from Tarte too that I need to put in here. And so does this one. This is a rose gold. So these are eyeliners, like my cream eyeliners, okay? And this is the 24 hour eye base. This needs to go in with my primers. That's an eye primer. Line, mascara primers. We'll put those in there with the primers. Okay. Um, no, this one is good. Okay. Brow products. Okay. So these are my brow products. Definitely need to get rid of some stuff. Okay. So this lip balm by um this is by Bite Beauty. I'm going to keep this up top because when I go to sleep, I want to be able to use it. This is another eyeliner. Hmm. Yeah. This is a dark brown one. We'll keep that one. Pomade uh, by Anastasia. I like it. I'm going to keep it. Let's go through brow powders because I am pretty picky. I didn't like Senna as much as I liked the Brow Gal. I like the Brow Gal. I liked Bodyography and I like my Anastasia. So I'm going to declutter this one. Brow Gal has not been open the Brow Gal. I'm going to keep it. going to keep that one. going to declutter the Make It Make Me Brow. I'm going to keep the Brow the brow. The fiber volumizer, I really love that. So I'm gonna keep those. This brow and lash building serum doesn't really work for me. This is gone. This is gone. This, these three are gone. Okay. Brow wax, I love from Anastasia. Let's uh, let's see. What is this? Oh, this is the tattoo liner. Okay, I'm gonna put that with the eyeliners because I need to go through those. Okay, more brow stuff. Okay, this is the brow conditioner. Love that. This is a strobe, liquid strobe. We're going to get rid of this. This is a liquid strobe. I don't need this. Okay. So these three. Gonna keep these three. Gonna get rid of the IBY Beauty. Love the this is billion dollar brows and I like the high brow. This one is a creamy one and then this one is like a metallic one. So I'm going to keep these. <coughs> and we're done with this drawer. Brow products. Is, these are my eyeliners. Okay. I know I want to. The Ciate is hard to use. It's really good but it's hard to use. I'm going to declutter it gonna declutter the make the Marc Jacobs fine liner I really don't use that anymore uh, get to eyeliner this mascara I really didn't use I'm gonna declutter that um, I really like my carbon black by L'Oreal gonna keep that I'm gonna keep the epic pink liner epic ink liner by NYX Senna, this is a mask. Is this a mascara? Yeah, lash detail mascara. Ooh, that's for lower lashes. I'm gonna put that up top. And let's see, liquid eyeliner. It's gonna keep the Tarte Feline. This is the Mali Beauty. This is a foundation. No, this is a, a eyeshadow stick, I think. Yes. And a gold shade. Yes, we're gonna keep that one. Put that up there. And this is the BH Liquid Eyeliner in New York. I'm going to keep it in the box just so I know that I haven't used it, but I'm going to keep this and I am going to declutter the tattoo liner. So we have like four liquid eyeliners, which I'm okay with. Then I think I have one up here. Do I have one up here? I don't think so. Let's put one up there. Let's put the... Let's put the black car carbon black I have liquid eyeliner <coughs> let's go through these oh I have one more this is the ultra skinny this is by crown we're gonna declutter that too 
Let's go through the makeup forever and every day. These are all, some of these may go, oh, the eye coat. This is the skinny. I'm going to keep that. I like that one. Okay, so let's go through these. I have a white eyeliner, so I'm going to get rid of the Rimmel one. <coughs> Let's see. Makeup Forever. I didn't see in. Honestly, yeah, it is like sick. So pretty. Gotta keep that. Let's see versus this one from Urban Decay. That's pretty too. <coughs> I think I'm gonna get rid of the Urban Decay ones. Ooh, that's pretty though. Let's see. If this is similar, we'll get rid of it. Yes. No, that's matte though. This one is a lime green. We'll keep it. Okay. These are colored, um, colored pencils. I'll keep. Let's see these two Urban Decay. Do they still work? Yes. That's a gray. Ooh, purple. Okay. Let's see. The gray. Gonna keep the purple because of the... Okay, I'm okay with the rest of these. So. Let's move on to powders, y'all. Okay, so this one's gonna be kind of hard, but I'll be okay. Okay. These are all my powders. Oh, let's see what I'm going to get rid of. Or I haven't tried. Okay, so these are all my face powders. Oh, this is a lot. Oh, no, that's not all. Okay. I don't think that's even. I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 powders. Too many. Okay, so I have the It's Cosmetics Spot by Pores Press. I have never used this, but I kind of think I would like this better than the loose. Um. <clears throat> I'm gonna keep this. I'm gonna get rid of the loose. So this is the loose. I'm gonna get rid of it. Okay. Um, also, I really like the Laura Geller. I really like this. Let me think about this. Because the, also the... I'm gonna get rid of it. This bothers me. The top. Totally bothers me, so I'm gonna get rid of that. This is the must have cotton loose powder. A lot of makeup artists use this. I think I'm gonna put this, I might put this in my kit. Okay, this is the makeup forever loose. That one is the, act the actually only one that I have that's in my skin tone that I could set with, so I'm gonna keep this one. Um, Graftopia, and I've heard great things about it, but I haven't tried this one. Let's talk about ones that I haven't tried. Okay, so these four I haven't tried. I mean these three okay I'm gonna keep my this is the only like banana one besides the Graftopian that I have so I'm gonna keep this one this one is the Patrick powder I need to put this on the chopping block and see if I want to keep this one definitely want to keep the Laura Mercier and I love this one from Too Faced I have the born this way gotta keep that one too <clears throat> and my Laura Mercier okay we're gonna put that one in we're gonna keep these two the Sweetened Mineral Veil this one is kind of like a setting powder as well. So I'm going to keep these in my makeup like for travel. This one is a great under eye that's not too bright that I can use for every day. So I love that one to fit me. So this one's going to be on drop topping block. These I haven't tried. Oh, the must have I haven't tried. So those four. The Bare Minerals I do like. And I also have the... I also have the one from 
hourglass that I am decluttered. I mean that I am using right now. But these I really like. So I'm going to keep this. Did I even declutter anything? No. I need to try these. I need to try these before I declutter. Definitely trying the hourglass. I want to try the Graftopia. This one I have never heard of this brand. Christopher Buckle. And I kind of want to try it and give it a chance before like just saying I'm decluttering it. You know what I mean? So I have some powders I need to put some on the chopping block. I've heard great things about the Graftopian. Okay, these are ones that I haven't tried. So uh, I don't want to keep these in here. Um, let's go through these. Okay, so these, I'm going to keep these, but this will be for my kit. Yes. Because do I have a blush palette for my kit? No. Uh, yeah, so I'll keep those for my kit. Now, my MAC, some of these are new, so I'm, there's no way I'm getting rid of them. This is Sweet as Cocoa. I have Burnt Pepper. This is Mocha. I have Madden, Modern, Modern Man, Mandarin. These are going to stay in here. Mariah Carey is going to stay. Mac Blunt. I am going to... Um, I'm going to declutter this. Mac Blunt. It's just too dark as a contour powder for me. Yeah. Uh, Mac... This is from, as you can tell, this one is, this is Taraji Glow. I really like this. It's, these two are very, very similar. The Toasted Almond. Um, I'm going to keep this one. I'm going to declutter my Toasted Almond. I know. Oh. Let's see. My NARS Taj Mahal. I'm going to keep very pretty for the summer. Okay, this one, yes, gonna keep because it has guilt in it. Uh, what is it? Whisper of guilt. Gonna keep my makeup forever ones. I have this one, and I also have this one. This is peach. This is orange, like straight up orange. Um, I wish I could get rid of this shade right here. I'm gonna pull it out at some point and uh, declutter that. No matter of fact, let me see if I can do that right now. I don't know if I can. No, I need like a little pin. Like... Anyway, I won't right now. Okay, so these are staying. With the powders. This powder I think I'm going to keep in my kit because it's supposed to be great for dark skin. I'm going to try that. I'm going to try that on. Let me keep that one out. This Hourglass Blush Keeping. So beautiful. Um, and this one from Jordan Armani I'm keeping. And I have one from Charlotte Tilbury I want to add. So pretty. This one right here. Okay. I'm gonna keep that one. Wanna... Let's see. I definitely want to keep these. My hourglass, y'all. I am a blush junkie, and my Too Faced. I'm just not ready to let go of these. Did I get rid of anything? No. Um, no, I'm just, I just have a it into my, no, I didn't get rid of anything. Okay. Okay, in terms of my, let's see, let's go, oh, these two. Not getting rid of these. I love these. Especially for travel, these come in very handy. So I'm going to store these back here. 
terms of my blushes, I'm not ready to get it ready for my blushes. My bronzers either, but I'll show you guys. I'm not getting ready everything. This is the Micro Smooth. This is the Chanel Le Beige in Deep Love Ambient Love Radiance Bronze Light. This one, my butter bronzer in Deep. This one is Bayana Bronze. And my Maker Forever. And also this cream. I'm going to keep this one out because I use that one. I want to use that up. That's a cream one. And so I'm going to put these back. Bronzers. Oh, that's a blush. These two. Okay. And this one. I'll keep it up here because I do use those. Okay, this is a face powder that I use. Highlighters. Let's get to highlighters, okay? through it this is the l'oreal gorgeous i have not tried it and i've heard so many great things there's no way i'm getting rid of that my dose of colors mirabe staying uh i'm Reezy. haven't tried but it was limited edition good left came back oh that's so pretty okay that's staying Uh, Taraji Glow is staying. I just love this. It's so pretty. Looks so pretty on me. Like rose gold looks okay. So I have like rose gold, gold gold. Um, Rodeo Drive. No, this is Beverly Hills. I do have Rodeo Drive too, but I like this one just because I have pink, I have a peach. This one would be great in my kit. I'll sanitize and put it in my kit. This one is great for travel. As well as blush gems. I'm gonna keep those. I'm going to declutter stunner by uh what is that? Uh tart. This is champagne pop. Keep that one. Gonna declutter what is this? Anastasia. This is peach nectar illuminator. I'm gonna declutter that. This is bronze deep going by Melanie Mills. Gonna declutter that. Loose is not my favorite, but I will keep my Artist Couture by Jackie Ina. I also, I'm going to put this one in my kit. I really like this one. Um, that was by Micah Beauty, but my Jackie Ina La Peach, the bomb. Okay, and then I also have, oh, that's Champagne Pop. I told you that was staying. Uh, my Makeup Forever. Let's see. That one is so pretty. Let's see. These. these two I think I'm gonna keep in my kit because this is a gold and this yeah I'm gonna keep these in my kit uh this one this is so special to me my Mar Mar Mariah Carey one oh the only one I want to keep my face the face on it so I'm gonna keep that okay guys we're gonna stop right there and we've done the top drawer and the vanity and I feel so happy. So that is basically my makeup collection for a small space. Unfortunately, I went from a house to a two, two, to a two, let's see, two bedroom rental, basically. And I needed to really condense down and I wanted everything to fit in one space. And so it does. I am so happy. I feel so relieved. I don't feel overwhelmed anymore. And I feel like I 
honestly I probably will do another pass but in terms of stuff that I use things that are expired have, have gone bad I've gotten rid of that and I feel so much more headspace so to speak and I need to get to papers and books and all that kind of stuff but I am so happy I hope you guys enjoyed this and I hope this was helpful for motivation for you guys because I know when I see declutter videos I will put one on and do a declutter so hope you guys enjoyed this don't forget to give it a thumbs up please subscribe and I'll see you in the next video bye loveys